I can't hear. I cannot hear. Questions for Coach? All right. Can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear now. All right. Perfect. Hey, uh, what did you feel like you got accomplished with this with this bye week that you guys just had? Well, the uh, besides the technical end, we we spent time on some of our youth. We had uh, young guys go and and really our our guys are developing such that they're not young guys. In other words, they're they're getting the play call, they're understanding the adjustments, and they're playing really like a more veteran player. And uh, we like that. We didn't have spring ball. We didn't have uh, the snaps of spring. And, and we need to continue to develop this team. This team's going to be a talented team. It's going to be a team that can that'll, – that'll buy with a, a number of uh, schools that we play. And uh, so we're uh, – we feel like we accomplished a lot, but uh, we're still in a, a preparing for a very quality opponent in Texas. And so um, I don't know that I'm not done focusing on the, uh, the uh, bye week and, and more focus on Texas. It, when you have three different bye weeks in a season, is there a, a strategy to that? Did you guys do anything differently this, this past time? We're fortunate we fought like heck to get it. And the reason that we did is so that we could spend time with our young players. And, uh, um, I mean, you can't give them enough snaps. I mean, they're guys that, that need a, uh, a uh, spring ball, a uh, six-week and eight-week lifting uh, regiment. And uh, a fourth quarter, which is, you know, a, a, a special running, lifting kind of uh, a way to compete and still, um, you know, maneuver your, your team towards playing their best. So I, uh, I hope that, uh, that you guys understand that those, those things, they have to be our, our – uh, our uh, focus so Les, does that include um you know younger players who who aren't playing much on game day i mean is are they getting a lot of that focus in, during those bye week reps and things like that you bet you you're absolutely correct so um i want to say 22 true freshmen are playing i mean we have to focus on those guys and uh it's it's a uh, and they're playing at a very high level most of them it's just so it's it's a uh, it's a group that we look forward to progressing and uh, working with for some time. Are you how's your how's your freshman quarterback holding up? What have you seen from Jalen the past week? Um, I think I think we'll uh, we'll uh, look to his health as this week goes on. Um, uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not ready to to name him just yet, but uh, I. Uh, I think I think you'll find his health will return. To be my guess. Was Was he able to practice last week? Uh, yes, he was able to practice. Now he didn't, but uh, just figured I'd mention that. So he did, what do you, he did not practice. What do you find as, what do you well, find as typically? The, oh, go ahead. Yeah, he's he's working, but not not extensively. Les, what do you find is uh, the bigger obstacle for young players? Is it getting their mind up to speed, or is it getting their body up to speed? Um, typically, and is that reflected in this team? I think I think they have to have the uh, considering the considering the the uh, the games that were canceled in the past, considering the, the shutdowns that we've been through, I think that by far and away the the biggest and the biggest hurdle is, you know, getting them focused on the task at hand. Now, the good news is we're playing Texas because Texas will get you focused. They'll you you watch their, their players running around and, and uh, Sam Ellinger the a, a talented, disciplined quarterback that's, that's had 40 starts and just 
So those guys, those guys will, will get you, get you fired up. Hey, Les, uh, just wanted to clean something up just to make sure I'm, I'm hearing you right. Did you say maybe Jalen was a, a limited participant in practice or didn't go through full practice the last week? Yeah, you know what? I, I'm, I'm going to avoid uh, giving a really strong answer there because I just want, uh, I want this week to take place without any pressure on it at all. And so, uh, you know, I don't want to tell anybody that they're, they're starting or they're going to play if I don't know. And right now, I'm, I'm going to let this play out, if you don't mind. Sure. And, and then I also wanted to ask you uh, about Lawrence Arnold. You mentioned two weeks ago that he might yeah. be out for two weeks. Is, is he a guy you're expecting back? No, we're not expecting Lawrence out back. He's, uh, he's uh, had a minor surgery. Les, did you guys um, change anything on the offensive line during the bye week, or how did you see that group progress? Um, we focused on the on the. I don't know that we made a lot of changes, but we focused on those um, on those guys, how they're practicing and what's going on, and 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 they in turn had, had a some the, the the practice week that we just had was a very good practice week. A lot of energy, a developmental thought improvement and and they and they stayed after it i'm i'm really proud of how they practice so do you see those guys on the line really hungry to to um turn things around particularly for their group i'm sorry guys on the line they're really hungry to turn things around yeah i i think i think there's there's a a feel for this team to practice in a in a manner that pursues excellence and if you fall a little short you do and uh i uh i, I think these guys are are fired up about playing and and i think that they've they've really worked hard in the in this bi-week practice schedule Les, when you get a close look at the young kids that maybe you didn't see as much of have any of them maybe worked their way into some playing time after what you saw? Well, I uh, I think there's a couple of guys. I think the uh, the uh, but there I, th I think there's some guys that that may have earned practice time, um, but uh, or playing time I should say. But uh, I don't know that I want to give you that just yet. I apologize because it's just one of those things. I'm just a uh, not used to giving a lot of information on our players. Has uh, has Luke Grimm maybe exceeded your expectations in the amount of time he, he's had? He he has exceeded my expectations. So is Amaje. Um, there are just a number of guys that have played and played well. And Luke Grimm is Luke Grimm is expecting to catch balls and so he does hey you guys have three games left now what what do you want to see out of your team as the season kind of wraps up here i want to see them um do the things that, that they can do and um improve and, and 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 become put a down payment on being a very quality team at the back end of the season as a team and give us a spring and give us a uh, an opportunity to to go to the next uh segment of time and uh and I think that we'll be ready to compete in in what areas can you or what what would you like to see from the defense kind of in that vein what what can the defense do in the next few weeks that you'd like to see well i i think they're i think they're um, putting pass rush on the teams that we're playing. I think we're getting after their um, passer at times. And I think that's key. And and then having that defense that can defend runs and passes in an equal manner and not uh, give down and distance away too much what they're going to call. And I think that they're I think they're working to do that as well. So, 
Coach, you were able to have some success against uh, Texas last year. Um, obviously, there you, know, you lost some guys from last year, but um, in terms of this Texas team, uh, what do you feel like is the key to having success against Texas this year? The the things that we will have Texas we will have success against Texas this year. Uh, yeah, like what would be the keys to having success against this Texas team? Just do the things that we've told you to do. Just just. Uh, you know, do your job, do the things that we have um, uh, illustrated and, and, and showed as what would be key pieces to us. And uh, I think if they, if they do that, that's really what I need to see. I don't, they, they, you don't see, uh, you don't go to look for finished products, you, this victory, that victory, no. No, what you need to do is put your head down, work hard, and at the back end of this thing, maybe you come out with a significant victory. Hey, Les, when you look back at Jalen's first start against Baylor and compare it to today, how much growth have you seen from him in that time span? Um, I, think he's, I think he's improved significantly in his ability to – read a secondary and throw it in the right spot. Um, there's still some, some things that, uh, that he can learn and, and uh, our uh, uh, Brent Dearman is going to be that kind of guy that is meticulous in his desire to coach and get this guy exactly right. And uh, I, think, I, think that that's, I think that's happening. Hey, uh, I want to ask you a little bit about Kenny Logan. He played a lot of offense in high school. Has he tried to convince you to, to let him play any on offense here? I think that, uh, that Kenny is a, uh, a guy that has uh, – obviously he looked pretty good on offense taking that kickoff back. So he's, he's hit a couple of kickoff returns, and, and we think he's pretty special. And then seven tackles per game, sixth in the Big 12. Um, I don't know that we'll give him just a lot of reps at, uh, you know, on offense, but I agree with you. He, he was and is a very quality offensive threat. Do you have a general philosophy about playing two, playing guys two ways like that? Are you just against it in general? No, no I could play two ways, but the, the thing is, is you, you don't want to get your, I mean, I think, I think Kenny is rounding out into a leadership role and understands the, the uh, safety spot that we have him in. And I don't want to reteach or, you know, go through um, a, uh, a span of time where I've, I've got somebody there that's learning the job. I think Kenny knows it and I think he enjoys it. And if he, uh, if he wants to sneak over on the offensive side, we might give good thought to that. Hey, Les, you guys are about three weeks away from getting into that off-season strength and conditioning. How important is that with a lot of these young kids who missed a lot of that time from spring ball through this part of the summer? It's tremendously important. It's, it's something that, that these guys – you count on their development so that they can be after, you know, stretches of time, bigger, faster, stronger. And that guy that has the ability to um, gain 10 pounds in a short order and in that, in that 10 pounds by the instruction of Ben Anacchione, um looks pretty damn good. And, and now suddenly they're running 40 yard dashes and they're instead of four sevens, they're four fives. And that's a tremendous difference. Um, you, you have to have those guys in a, in a real quality strength conditioning program. Um, but, uh, and it's tremendously important. So it, it, it ages your team. It allows them the, the sophomore, junior, senior year, Hey, bigger, faster, stronger, it's what we're looking for. Hey, Les, two questions for you on uh, Chris Hughes. First of all, I know you've played him at multiple positions. Have, have you been happy with uh, Chris Hughes on your offensive line this season? 
Um, I think his I think his development was good. I think he was going hard. I think uh, I think he's a little nicked right now. I don't think there's a uh, a uh, I think it takes him off of the the uh, necessity to improve. It's more than the necessity to heal. So uh, I guess what I'm saying is, is it's tough for me to say that he's gotten this the uh, development that he would enjoy. But I think his body stopped him from doing that based on injury. Yeah, and, and that was going to be my second question. Are you expecting to, to have him back this week? Yeah, it would be great to have him back. He's, one, knowledgeable, two, he's a big, strong man. So uh, you absolutely would love to have him back. Hey, I want to ask you about Devon Ferguson. We haven't seen him play in a while. Uh, can you just kind of give us an update on what's going on with him? Yeah, I, I think he's uh, – well, he's opted out, and uh, um, we wish Devon the very best. Uh, so so has, has he left the team – uh, or, I mean, what's his situation? Would he come back next year or, or not? Um, I, I, don't, uh, I don't see his return, just to be very frank about it. Is he still enrolled at KU? Um, I am not certain. One more for Coach? He was earlier this semester, certainly, but uh, I don't know that he's continued on. But I don't know that he hasn't either. All right. Thanks, everyone. We'll have some players here shortly.